Wow, it's November again. Oh no, this is the first November oh, no, this Terry. year. Oh no, Terry. Oh, it's almost, oh, the door is open. Turkey. <laughs> it's turkey month, are turkey you ready? Month. I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm on the way out the door. Carla's here to talk a bit about what's going on for next year. And I'm gonna give you a little information about things that happened at the Board of Directors meeting today. Um, we had some fun thing that happened today. There was a presentation of a grant. Uh, there's a park downtown near Heritage Hill that's going to be developed. It's two acres. It used to be a parking lot, and they're gonna turn it into a kid's park. We had some money that came in from NAR, through MAR, to us, and we gave them a check for $3,000 today to help with that uh, renovation of the park, and we also have $1,000 going over to Ionia. Uh, not money out of our budget, but coming from NAR through uh, grant money. So that was exciting. Steve it was, was here exciting. today and we I gave him a check. I think that was Pleasant Park, if I remember Pleasant that. Park, Pleasant Park, Park is what that was called. So mm -hmm. look for more information on that. Uh, the park bill was passed most recently in the state, so there's, or in the city, so that's going to enhance some of the funding available for it, but he was talking about all the funding sources he had for uh, making this happen and then how many years he's been working on it. So good use of our funds. Carla's going to talk a little bit about uh, things that are going on planning for next year. We are gearing up for 2014. In October 28 and 29, we had the Board of Directors planning retreat. We invited Stefan Swanpool to be here. It was a fabulous planning retreat. We were able to put together a strategic plan that will really cover the next two to three years is what we're projecting. And we have that all set out of, out of that to begin with. We've got two focus groups that were approved today. So we're looking to get set. I will share more with you during the annual breakfast come December 13 in terms of what we're going to do with that strat plan because we do want to have you involved and informed and know what's going on as well. So we will be sharing that later. We also had the 2014 budget approved today so we are all set with that based on the amount of members that we project and have currently. We are fortunately we're part of a group that's conservative and yet we're forward thinking as well. So I'm very thankful for the years of service that people have put in to get us very financially secure and we have a great budget for 2014. Also, I want to talk about the, um, this is not a short sale or foreclosure statement. There was a request from a member to remove that line on the listings so that we no longer are putting our listings out to the public side. We'll still be able to see it on the agent member side, whether or not it's a short sale or a foreclosure, but we are going to remove that from the public side so your listings are not impacted one way or the other as it relates to short sale. Finally, you may have gotten a notice in the last day or two regarding committees for 2014. We're doing a little bit differently this year and we're asking that you sign up according to your area of interest. That if there's something that you would like to be a part of that you say, hey, that's my niche, that's what I really enjoy doing, that you would at least select maybe two to three so that we, if we can't fit you on that one committee, I want to be able to put you on an, a second committee that would be very viable and, and use your talents and resources that you can offer us. So make sure you take a look at that. I believe it's in the mailing, weekly mailing, and also everybody should have gotten that as an email. So be taking a look at that. That's going to come up probably in the next couple weeks that we'll be uh, assigning committees. I did, so I, I think did it that's it. Uh, you did it this did morning. Good for you. I, I think 10. I know what committee I'm on for next year. So <laughs> You'll be busy, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm pretty good. I'm relaxing. I'm going to retire here. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're going to find you somewhere. Um, a couple of things. Uh, Pam sent out the weekly mailings in regards to the dot .realtor. Uh, so instead of terrywestbrook.com, it'll say terrywestbrook.realtor. Now that uh, designation will become available soon. I don't remember what the dates are on that, but Pam's information is in the weekly mailing from last year last week. Uh, for the people that sign up and register ahead of time, you can get a free dot .realtor name and you can buy uh, additional names. The first, I believe, 500,000 uh, people that sign up will be able to get this dot .realtor. And then if you want, and I'm going to use my, my name as an example, if I wanted Westbrook Realty dot .realtor, Terry Westbrook dot .realtor, uh, whatever dot realtor, I could buy two of those and have the one free one. So sign up for that if you feel that's something that you want to do. And is it pretty much looking at your name that people are? Probably so. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what your are name their names. Any realtor. websites that you might have now instead of um, xyz.com, you might want to ha protect that by saying now xyz dot realtor. So. Uh, for your marketing purposes, think about that and sign up. Okay. 
<clears throat> we were in NAR uh, and uh, a couple weeks ago, or last week, I guess it was, that thing's been flying along with three, day, three hours worth of time change. I'm just getting back on Eastern Standard Time. They, they announced that NAR is in moving into a cooperative effort with a major premier developer, and they've not disclosed the name, where they're going to actually take the building on Michigan Avenue down in Chicago and have it eliminated and there's going to be a, their, their quote, Rockefeller cell Center type building built on this site from the street behind Michigan Avenue and through our building. The reason we're involved is because of our frontage on Michigan Avenue. This developer is going to have condos, um, a high-end hotel, uh, rental property. I mean, it's just the whole gamut. We're going to have 180,000 square square feet in the building, of uh, which we use 100,000 and we'll be able to lease out the other 80,000. Our net equity will move from probably $65 million from the old building to 80 to $100 million with a value in the new building. So no dollars coming out of the budget for this building, but it should give us equity that we'll be able to and very, very visible location on Michigan Avenue. So more to come on that and I think first quarter to the May meetings they will have uh, much more to come on that. And lastly, and you're probably tired of hearing this, but we're still in the conversation about MLS service providers. And I think that at this point in time, we're getting very, very close. And I believe the middle of December, we're meeting with Swimming managers. Hopefully we'll make a decision whether we're gonna stay with Rapitoni or move on to one of the two or three vendors that we've had several conversations with that's still ongoing, but I expect that by first quarter we'll have a decision as to where we're gonna go, and then we'll just a matter of implementation if in fact there is a change. But if I had to throw the nickel in the, in the wind and guess, I'm thinking there's probably change. So I'm going to catch your nickel in the wind yes. if you just pitch nickels in the wind. Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's been a lot of conversation. Yeah. I spent quite a bit of time back in San Francisco with several meetings with those vendors. And um, lots of things happening out there that we may not be exposed to if we stay with Rapitoni. So I'm, I'm kind of guessing we're going to move forward. So that's all I've got. And I've I got one last thing. What? I need to thank you. Thank you for being a great president. You got one more month. And seriously, thank you for all your work in the MLS well, and, and looking for that. It. So it's, you have done an amazing job, Terry. I appreciate I that. I want to thank you. And I hope, I hope everybody appreciates this is not a, a casual decision. No, it making. is not. This is something that we've spent lots of time because we know it's going to impact you and your business, and we want to make that as easy as possible when it does come to yep. pass. So yep. appreciate so the conversation. So thank you. you yep. bet. All right. Have a good Thanksgiving. Yes. See you next next month. You bet.